118 at Trader Joe's and 190 at Target. I'm sharing both hauls with you guys today. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and if you love grocery slash shopping hauls, you're definitely gonna want to hit that subscribe button because I've got a few extra ones for you guys coming up and I always share my weekly grocery haul. Sometimes I tack on the meal plan for my family every single Saturday, which you guys are seeing today. So like I already mentioned, I went to Trader Joe's and then I went to Target for a few things that I couldn't find at Trader Joe's and of course I always find some extra goodies. So I wanted to go ahead and share both of them with you guys because they were both on the smaller size. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys down to my dining room table and show you what I picked up. Okay, so here's my one, it was under 118, 117.30 at Trader Joe's. And then at Target, it was 187.38, I think. So just under 190. So we'll go ahead and go over Target first. Back here, I did go ahead and pick up some dog food. I am completely out of chicken, and my dogs really love having something soft with their dry food. So these were on sale. They are definitely a little bit more pricey than making your own, but again, we're completely out, and I'm not going to Costco until tomorrow, so you guys are gonna get a bonus grocery haul. I'm going to Costco. So you guys will either see that on Sunday or Tuesday, because I've already got something planned for Monday. But anyway, I picked these up. There's 12 pouches in each. Uh, I think I only need one to get me through before I actually make dog food, or less than one box, but again, they were on sale. It was also buy one, get one 25% off, so now I'm stocked up for a little bit, and I don't have to worry about making the dog's food until next week. I can put that off a little longer. So these are the mixables. They are grain free. They don't have any added artificial flavors or preservatives. It says mix with dry food for a great meal, which is what I already do with dog food when I make it for the dogs. This top one has six chicken and six turkey, and this bottom one has six beef and then six beef, ham, and bacon. So we're gonna give that a try. It does say fine food for adult dogs. They had plenty of ones for smaller dogs too, but I do have two larger dogs. So hopefully they enjoy that and that'll give me a week to prep their homemade food going forward. I've been looking for a great deal on the OXO like candy jars or cookie jars. I haven't found one, so I did end up paying full price for this. I think it was like $19.99, which is a lot, but I have several of these in my pantry and I love them. I feel like it keeps the food fresh for so long. Basically like crackers and cereal and things, the stuff that you open up that will get stale on you. It works perfectly. So I'm hoping that this does great for cookies because we do love having some fresh baked cookies in the house. So I went ahead and picked that up. We're almost out of our sunscreen. I went ahead and picked up more. Then I got myself some beauty items. So I lost, or Paige is borrowing or something, my pencil sharpener for my Abra pencil. I couldn't find it anywhere this morning. So I went ahead and picked up this one. This one shows that it's good for the smaller the normal size ones, and then like for bigger lip crayons and stuff. So went ahead and got that. And then this past week, I like, I don't know if it was like stress chewed or what, but I bit all my nails off. And showing you guys hauls like this and having my nails front and center, I just, look at that, ooh. I just don't think they look the best. So I went ahead and got myself some of these Impress, the press on ones. I don't like the press on ones though, but these are the only, like Target didn't have a good selection. These are the only ones I liked. So I am gonna use glue with them because I feel like they last a really long time doing that. So I got these ones. I thought they were really cute. You should see this in the Costco haul. <laughs> My nails should be done because I'm gonna do them tonight. This is the glue that I picked up. I haven't worn nails in forever because I do feel like it ruins my nails, but again, having a YouTube channel and showing you guys stuff, I, wanted my, I want my nails to look as nice as possible. So I went ahead and got that to give my nails some time to recover from me stress chewing them off. But this is the Kiss Maximum Speed uh, nail glue, super strength. So pick that up. And then my eyelash curler, it, I just need a new one. It's done for. So I went ahead and picked up a new one of that. Other non-food items, I was talking about this in my vegan meal prep video, looking for reusable freezer bags, especially when I'm doing things like pancakes and baked goods. I feel like those are something that are really easy to just wash 
and then reuse versus the ones that I'm putting soup in. I don't know about those, but I figured I would go ahead and get a pack. I found these, there's eight in here. They are BPA, PVC, latex free. <laughs> and again, they're reusable. Dishwasher and freezer safe. And this is the gallon size. So I picked that up to give a try. My daughter Pearl just started softball, her first team sport and she doesn't have any like athletic clothes. So I did pick up two sets for her to wear to practices. And I can go ahead and tell you, I'm not popping up prices this time because I'm actually filming right before I'm editing and sharing with you guys. But this shirt was $8. It says Fueled by Kindness and it is the All in Motion brand. So I got those with these really cute, colorful shorts. These actually have like the little undies connected in there. So if she wanted to wear them like that, these were $8 as well. And then I bet they were, yeah, they were all $8. I feel like they were, maybe they were on sale, maybe not. The sh these shorts were 12. But I got this one, it says anything is possible in like a bright greeny yellow. I, it looks like both colors to me really. And then these black shorts, these do have pockets, really soft feeling athletic shorts. But I did get her both of those to wear to practices. I got these gift bags. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing for Halloween yet, but I figured the kids are definitely not gonna be getting as much candy as they normally do because we're not going trick-or-treating around the neighborhood. We're just gonna do something here at the house. So I picked up these little treat bags in case I wanted to use those. If not, I can just put them in the bin and save them for next year. But there's eight in there and they are just plain orange and they were $3. I got these from the Target dollar spot. And then I also saw these. And I picked up, you guys are gonna see a Dollar Tree haul next week. I picked up these after I went to the Dollar Tree. I picked some up from the Dollar Tree and then I saw these at Target and I fell in love with these. So if I use these for Halloween, I think maybe I'll save them for Thanksgiving though, because they're just, I don't know, I just love the colors in them. So I got this 30 count of lunch napkins. And then how many plates are in here? There's 12, there's 15 of these oval plates. I love these bigger plates because I feel like, especially for Thanksgiving, I think this size is great. And then the size of the Dollar Tree is great for when you're doing like appetizer night and stuff like that. They're just the regular size paper plates. So I did pick those up because I saw them and I love them. My daughter Paige requested a sketchbook. She definitely prefers a different kind. I think she was looking for something a little thicker because she wants to use this for painting. And these are pretty thin, but this is just something that I need to take her to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or even have her look on Amazon, but this was the only one available. I went ahead and got that for her. Then back here, oh my gosh, I am all for pumpkin spice everything, you guys. So they had the sugar-free pumpkin spice in the Coffee Mate, and I originally had that in my cart, and then I picked up the pumpkin spice for Paige, and I was like, we don't need two different kinds of creamer. So I opted to put mine back, and I got a second flavor so we could both try both of them because I really do like the almond milk creamers too. They're super yummy. They're not sugar-free, but my daughter enjoys them. So I went ahead and picked up both of those in the pumpkin spice and the maple caramel, and I think they had a toffee, a toffee one as well. I almost got all three. <laughs> it's like, Vanessa, calm down. Like, seriously, fall flavors are my favorite. They're my favorite. So I did pick up both of those. Um, my daughter Rose loves these cotton candy animals and typically I buy them in bulk, but they never go through them in time. So I'm opting just to pick them up every now and then. This will last, I mean, for my three younger ones, this will be a quick snack for two days or I'll have that with their lunches. So this will only last two days because there's six in here and I don't pick them up every week, but my kids really do enjoy it and cotton candy is one of their favorites. Um, my oldest daughter also requested some vegan ice cream. So I got this one, the original Oatly in chocolate chip, and it does say on there 100% vegan. So I need to get that in the freezer. Just a few more things from Target. The white grape juice is actually for a science experiment. <laughs> so I tried to find something smaller. They didn't have anything smaller. So hopefully my kids like that and we'll drink it. Maybe I'll turn it into popsicles. I don't know, but went ahead and got the Market Pantry 100% juice in the white grape, as well as the red cabbage. That is for a science experiment as well. So we got that. All right, you guys, I should have checked, like double check the prices. This bag was like $11 and change. I feel like that is super expensive for some cherries. They also had a little, a smaller pack that was $4.99. And then this one, it said $4.99, but it said per pound. And this one was definitely more than one pound. It ended up being 11 something, but Pearl and I love cherries. Everybody else in the house doesn't eat them so much, but 
hopefully we can eat those all before they start turning. And then I've typically been getting my coffee cups on Amazon. You guys haven't been seeing K cups in my grocery hauls lately, <sighs> but I just realized that we're out and I wasn't paying attention. So went ahead and picked them up. Um, I do like the variety pack. So this one was like $28. It's the Keurig brand. There's 42 in there. There's nine of the caramel vanilla cream, 12 hazelnut, nine butter toffee, and then 12 French vanilla. So got that, but that is everything. Definitely a few pricier items and that makes the total add up. So just under 190 ish from Target. Okay, and then on to Trader Joe's. I'm really surprised. Normally I get like a cart full and my average at Trader Joe's is about 150, but this time they just didn't have much well and knowing that i'm going to costco i didn't pick up a lot of like fruits and veggies like i typically do like i didn't get any berries or anything like that i just kind of got a few extra things so 118 i was shocked <laughs> i was like oh dang i did pretty good so this is what i ended up getting from trader joe's okay we'll start over here and work that way so these vegetable birds nests are pretty much a standard that I pick up every time. My daughter Paige absolutely loves them. And then the gnocchi with the gargonzola cheese is my favorite. So that's another thing that you see pretty much every time. I went ahead and got these mini meatballs just to add to like a random spaghetti night that we have because my younger three love meatballs when we have spaghetti. I also saw this Kung Pao tempura cauliflower and my daughter Paige loves anything with cauliflower. So I thought that would be something quick and easy for her. I actually just meal prepped cauliflower for her and it's just one of her go-to. So I thought that would be something just quick and easy to have in the freezer for her. Something else I pick up pretty much every time. I mean, I got a lot of regulars, but some news. Are the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I love making this for breakfast on the weekend or I'll prep it one day during the week and I'll have it like three or four days in a row with an over easy egg, like the runny eggs. So yummy. So I picked that up. We do have some queso left over from a taco night. So I picked up the soft pretzel again. I picked up these several times, not every time, but they are pretty good. And my kids love dipping them in queso, <laughs> any kind of cheese dip. So I did go ahead and get these. There's four pretzels in this pack. Then coming down here, these Rambutans, sweet and juicy. I have never purchased these before. I just thought they looked really cool. I don't know if my kids will be like, apprehensive about them, like scared to try them or not, but they say sweet and juicy. So if you guys have tried these, let me know in the comments because my kids are actually out of the house this weekend. So I will be able to read your comments before we even try these, but hopefully they're good because they just looked really interesting and weird. And my kids are, they like the weird things. So hopefully they like that. All right, Mark was with me when I went to Trader Joe's and he said he's never had a fig before. I haven't had a fig in a really long time, you know, outside of those like nature bakery fig bars, you know, but just a fresh fig. So I'm gonna be looking up some recipes, seeing what I can do with these. These are the fresh black fig figs. They had some green ones there also. So I went ahead and got these. My parents are both retired military and we lived in Italy for a year, like 13 months or so when I was in, oh gosh, maybe third grade. And we stayed off base at this house that my parents rented and it was on like an orchard. It had a rooster that was really annoying <laughs> and lots of trees. And in the backyard, all the trees were fig trees. So I remember, you know, us going out there and collecting figs off and on. So it's just been a hot minute since I purchased them. So I went ahead and got those. We'll figure out something to do with them and hopefully they're good and we all enjoy them. <laughs> but when Mark said that he had never had one, I was like, what? So we went ahead and picked them up. This is something else that just looked good. This organic mixed medley cherry tomatoes. You can see all the different colors in there. Some of them don't look very happy, but for the most part, I think they will be good. I'll just give them a good rinse and put them in a separate container. And then another thing my husband was thinking of when he saw these heirloom tomatoes is BLTs. Now we don't have any bread though, so that's something that we're gonna get at Costco, but he picked up these heirloom tomatoes. They look really good. These are for BLTs along with the romaine, picked up some romaine for BLTs. And then he and Paige both love avocados. Well, Pearl actually loves avocados too. So we got a bag of four avocados. This is a staple pretty much 
at Trader Joe's that I pick up, the silver dollar pancakes. All three of my younger kids love these. They have like four at a time with a banana or something in the morning for breakfast. And then I opted to go ahead and get the little Bambino pizzas, just in the cheese. They do have pepperoni as well. There's four small ones in here, so this will be a option for lunch for my kids this coming week. My daughter Paige loves the hash browns, so I did get the hash brown patties for her or for anyone. Also on our menu for Friday, the grown-ups are having a cheeseburger flatbread pizza. I think I'm gonna film a what's for dinner this week. I'm not sure, I feel like we're having some different meals. Um, and then I know my younger kids are not gonna be huge fans of that, so I have some regular flatbreads for them that we're just gonna turn into cheese pizza. So I have mozzarella cheese I'm gonna use. I picked up this pizza seasoned cheese and then I got their pizza sauce for the younger three and then Paige, that'll be a night where she's on her own. She'll have to pick something, maybe, you know, the cauliflower with rice or the bird's nest or, you know, she has plenty of other things in the freezer as well. So pizza nights, she definitely fends for herself. My daughter Paige, I mean. All right, so before we went to Trader Joe's, Mark, Mark and I ate lunch at a place called Cheddar's and I got their Monte Cristo. Y'all, it was not good. But you know who has a really good Monte Cristo? Kira in our cookbook. I don't know if she shared it on her channel. She'll have to comment down below if she's watching this, if she shared it. Her recipe for Monte Cristo's are the best that I have ever had because I love that hers at Cheddar's, they fried it and the whole thing just tasted like oil. It was just not good. Hers are French toast and then like your regular Monte Cristo items. I just, it just had me craving for her Monte Cristo. So I'm gonna be making those. I actually have to look up her recipe. So I always have the cookbook linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. But that is one thing that I'm gonna be making for dinner um, one night this week. So I got the French brioche bread because she says that she loves this bread for French toast. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I didn't check for all of us, but I don't know. This might be something that my younger kids aren't fans of. So we might whip something else up for them that night. Um, or we'll do like breakfast for dinner and I'll make this for the adults and the kids can have something else <laughs> like pancakes, scrambled eggs, that kind of thing. But going to that restaurant now I'm craving the good Monte Cristo. So that's why I got that. Um, the raw sunflower seeds we love adding into salads. We are almost out. So I went ahead and picked up another bag. The mixed nut butter is actually for my husband. He loves just a tablespoon of butter, peanut butter pretty much every single night <laughs> and we are out of peanut butter. So we went ahead and got this. This one is dry roasted and salted almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans. So this is actually a smaller one too, what 12 ounces. Normally we get that big one from Costco. Yeah, Costco, um, but it's super expensive. So we saw that one and he's gonna give that a try. Okay, I picked these up, speaking of Kira. <laughs> she said, that this is something that I have to try. I don't remember how we started talking about Trader Joe's, but I told her that I had never picked up the cookie dunkers and she's like, what? <laughs> so girl, I picked them up and hopefully I don't like them because obviously if I like them, you've started a really bad habit. <laughs> but she did say to make sure I get the chocolate coated ones because they also have the chocolate chip cookie dunkers that don't have the chocolate on the bottom. So I did go ahead and get these. If anything, I know my younger kids will love those with a glass of milk. And then cookies, I got the vegan cookies for Paige. And these are the cookies I think that I'm gonna try out in the OXO container for now. But I got the oatmeal chocolate chip and I got the trail mix cookies. Paige really enjoys these. Went ahead and got our two gallons of milk for the week. And then we still have half of the orange juice that I got last week. So I just went ahead and picked up the smaller one from Trader Joe's. I was gonna get the three pack from Costco, but I feel like that's too much. So I did go ahead and get theirs with a no pulp. My kids like that one too. The grapefruit juice is for a science experiment as well. So I'm glad I, I was able to find it in a smaller container. Then back here, I found this Sarah B sweet white wine Moscato product of Italy. I am just drawn to anything with a bee on it for my mom, because my mom and dad do have bees on their property that they take care of. So I picked that up just to give it to her since they are watching my kids this weekend. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that to her on Sunday or tomorrow when I pick up my kiddos. Then I saw these two. Now this is not new to me, the coconut cold brew coffee concentrate. I picked that up. I know my oldest daughter is going to enjoy that as well. 
but I don't know if I've ever seen the spiced chai black tea concentrate. If I've seen it, I've never picked it up. So that's something definitely that's new to me. I got a can of garbanzo beans. I just like to have these on hand. This is something super easy for Paige to add into pretty much anything since she does live a pretty vegan plant-based lifestyle. And then I saw these spicy miso instant ramen soups. The ingredients look good to me. Paige will have to double check on them, but I got one for Paige, one for Mark, and then one for Pearl. Those are my three that like the, the ramen type soups in this house. But huh, I'm out of breath because I tried to do that as quick as possible, but that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Okay, so the ice cream is up but I do have to put everything else up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Like I said, I have a couple more shopping hauls that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this coming week. One is Costco and then Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure that's it, those two. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one.